Number one, here they admit they knew what it was. Did you hear what Anna said? They said, "Oh yeah, we thought there might have been a terrorist on board." That's, but they're not saying we didn't know that it was aid workers. We didn't know that they were delivering food. We didn't know that it was humanitarian relief for Palestinians. No, they say we do know that, and we knew we were murdering them, but we thought it was justified because maybe there was a terrorist on board. I mean, just complete disregard okay. for human life. Like that's it. There's no argument about it. If you're making an argument that it was an accident, no, you be more precise with your language. You're, it was not an accident. They very, very, very clearly said we did it on purpose. We meant to murder those people because we thought it was justified. Because if there's one Palestinian on board, they're a goddamn terrorist and we'll murder anyone near a Palestinian. So that's the Israeli government now. Okay, but more overwhelming evidence. Why is it my opinion even changed in the last six months? So where I can now say I'm absolutely certain they're doing it on purpose. Well, look at the evidence, guys. 196 humanitarian aid workers killed so far in this conflict. That is three times more aid workers than killed in any conflict in the same period of time. Three times worse than the Russians, than Assad, than you name it, okay? So you're saying you have to admit that this is true. If you say that all of that was a mistake, then the IDF is the world's most incompetent military. They're just, they don't know where they're shooting at all. Oh, no, oops, oops, we killed three times more than the worst butcher in the whole world. We killed three times more aid workers. Okay, how about the journalists? 99 journalists killed. The worst in a conflict in this period of time since they started recording these numbers in 1992. Oops. Oops, we did it again, we murdered all those journalists all by accident. We killed more than Putin, we killed more journalists like Putin, okay? And let alone all the other dictators in the world. But it was, you're asking us to believe that was all an accident. That's insanity, let alone the six year old girl. Again, Israel told the coordinates of a six year old girl inside of a car. Her family's been killed already. They're saying, do not kill her, we're sending an ambulance. Israel says, go ahead, send the ambulance. You know what they do? They track the ambulance, murder the six year old girl and everyone inside the ambulance. You're telling me that was a mistake? But then we saw people surrendering, white flags, no shirts, including Israeli hostages. And yesterday we shared with you Haaretz inside Israel, great reporting, pointing out, yeah, there are kill zones, and the IDF will murder anyone inside a kill zone, even if they are unarmed and civilians. Right. And that's why they kill their own unarmed civilians, because they're like, oh, they're inside a kill zone, murder everyone here. Oh, oops, they turned out to be Israelis. We care about their lives. Implicitly, you don't care about the Palestinians you've been murdering. And by the way, why is this uh, uh, such a giant news event? Because they killed seven people. Who are largely foreigners from yeah various because countries? Because if because the Palestinian lives don't matter to Israelis or Americans or to these Western governments, they don't matter at all. Butcher them, butcher them. Thirty-two thousand. You think Israel accidentally killed twenty-three thousand women and children? Come on, who's that stupid enough to believe that? No, I'm sorry. I know it's not mainly not stupidity at all. It's mainly deep. Unwavering bias. Israel is the good guy, no matter how many people they murder. No, sorry, they're not. Right now, it's not permanent, guys, and it has nothing to do with religious background. But right now, Israel is clearly one of the worst governments in the world. They have massacred more people than almost any government. Now they're murdering civilian workers. Finally, why, well, let's get to why they did this. Why did they? I mean, this is going to draw international condemnation. There's an Australian, a Polish worker, an American, a British. All the governments are going to have to pretend to be upset with Israel, and they send them billions of dollars and more bombs and jets. Oh, we, oh, we are so mad you killed our citizens. Where's my money? Give me the AIPAC money. Give me the donor money. Okay, send them more weapons. Kill them more. Who cares if they're Americans? Kill them more. Says Joe Biden. Be honest, Joe Biden's a monster. Okay, so why they do it? Because now. That organization, along with several other aid organizations, had withdrawn from Gaza. So now the Palestinians will starve quicker. Mission accomplished. That's the terrorist that Benjamin Netanyahu is, number one terrorist in the world right now.